Hi, my name is Aaron Rustagi. And my name is Vajrang Padisetti. And our project is fake review detection using machine learning. Our advisor is Mr. Sabra Miller. We will start out with an introduction to the topic, then move on to methods, results, our conclusion, and finally acknowledgements. This past year has been huge for e-commerce, with sales growing 37% in 2020 from 2019. An estimated 2 billion people have bought products online, and e-commerce sales accounted for 14% of all retail sales. As you can see by the numbers, online buying is growing, and the COVID pandemic has only been growing those numbers. As these online shopping numbers grow, online reviews have become more important than ever. 89% of customers read reviews before buying a product, and reviews can often be that make or break factor that ultimately decides if the customer will make the purchase. Three out of four people trust online reviews as much as personal recommendations from friends or family, showing how important and impactful reviews are to making a purchase. There is a dangerous uh, side to reviews, however. Reviews can easily be faked, and a lot of them, in fact, are. Companies, small and big alike, pay people like you and me to write fake reviews under these products when in reality, the products weren't actually purchased or tested. Additionally, bad reviews could be written under competitor businesses to drive their business out, even if the competitors do have quality products. Guess what happens if people actually trust these bad fake reviews? Customers end up buying a product they don't like and they don't want, defeating the point of reviews. And thus, we decided on our project, using machine learning and deep learning methods to train models that could detect if a review was fake or real. Our label data set was individually concatenated, and we used 640 real and 640 fake reviews with positive and negative sentiment. Fake reviews are either meant to praise a product or degrade others. Our first step was taking the text data, which was the text of the actual reviews, and converting it into numbers that our machine learning model could actually take in and learn from. We did this using TFIDF, which stands for Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency. It works by converting each word in each review into a number based on how frequently the word appears and how many re reviews it appears, which gives us a score of relevancy. Ensemble techniques are methods that combine multiple models to get an output. One example is random forest that splits the training data into multiple smaller data sets, and the decision tree is made for each one. Finally, the trees are combined, giving us one grand output. Attribute is an ensemble method that works by creating multiple nodes with two branches, also known as stumps, to assign an importance to each output before tallied up and prediction is made through democracy like random forest. Support vector machines plot the training data in a hyperdimensional space and make a hyperplane that can best separate the data into the two categories. The best hyperplane is one that maxes my maximizes the margin between the support vector data. And we use this model because it works well with small data sets like ours. Logistic regression graphs the data by converting a linear line into a sigmoid that goes from 0 to 1, where 0 means a fake review and 1 means a real review. So if a review is plotted at, say, 0 0.4, it's closer to 0, so it's classified as fake. Multinomial naive Bayes use Bayes theorem and term frequency to calculate the probability to compute maximum likelihood estimates based on the training data to determine whether a review is fake or not and uses the probability to classify the review. We also approach this problem using a completely different method called deep learning. Deep learning is a branch of machine learning that uses complex structures modeled around the principle of the human brain. The advantage of neural networks is that it creates independent features, whereas the features must be provided beforehand in machine learning. A neural network consists of three different layers. The first layers are the input and hidden layers. This is where the weighted sum of the inputs is calculated, the bias is added, the result is fed to an activation function, and specific neurons with individual weightings are activated. Neural networks also learn from its predicted outputs. After forward propagating and reaching an output, the function back propagates to verify its results. Since the biases are set randomly, the output goes through a loss function which quantifies the deviation from the expected output. The optimizer then ties together the loss function and model parameters by updating the network so the values better fit the model. The initial score of random force was 71%, but upon tuning, we achieved a score of 83.5%. Support vector machines was initially 48.5% and 86% after tuning. Logistic regression was 85% and 85.5% after tuning. And multinomial naive base was 84%, out of boost was 83.5%. The first EPOC predicts a validation accuracy of 56%. The deep learning model fine tunes itself after every epoch by adjusting the biases, reaching a final validation accuracy of 87%. Once an optimization of biases has been met, early stopping has been utilized to prevent overfitting, which then decreases the accuracy. 
Our future plans are to create a new larger data set with information about the actual reviewer. We also want to test new models and algorithms as well as continue tuning the models in place currently. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We would like to conclude by thanking ASDRP for hosting the research and advisor Mr. Subramanian for guiding us.